Hello guys, welcome back to my video. So this is my rainy week. I thought of making a video which is informative, informative to my subscribers. So for those who haven't subscribed me, please do subscribe, like this video, and watch all other video. It is informative, and this is this all video is about how to get an internship in London or in UK or in in any other country uh, while studying your master. So. There are few steps which you need to uh, do before coming over here. If you have these steps, it's half of the job is done. Other half is hard working. That was, I'll say how to do it, how to tackle it. So the three steps what you need to do before coming over here is that you need to have your prop, you need to have your CV. A structured CV will be far better than a normal CV. Uh, a difference of uh, because over here the CV is checked by AI. So we need to know how to do, how to write a CV. Uh, those who are working, those who are studying, still now they don't know how to write the CV. And second thing, what you need to do is that you need to have a covering letter. Covering letter, uh, like a backbone of a covering letter, is far, it's enough. So whenever you want to send uh, your covering letter to other companies, you can just copy paste the things which you have in back the, on the backbone and to alter a few things so that the company will be accepting you and you need to write a few things according to your company. So for example, if you are writing, if you are sending your covering letter to Spotify, if you are done anything related to music, you need to add this along with your information you have done. So that will be far better than nothing. Instead of sending the same covering letter to each and every uh, companies, altering and sending the covering letter will be better. You should have a LinkedIn profile. LinkedIn profile instance, very good LinkedIn profile, more than 500 plus connection, uh, properly uh, or in, uh, properly uh, education, you need to write your education, you need to write your um, experience, you need to write, if you have a certificate, you need to write that, you need to write everything what you have in that. So that will be having a big impact on your profile. Those who are coding, those who know coding, GitHub, uh, if you have a GitHub and showing that GitHub ID in your CV, it will be very good. So these are the things which you need to have before coming to UK, after coming to UK. For this, uh, for those who are coming in 2000, uh, this September intake, I'm saying, uh, after coming over here, into again uh, change your CV. Bold. For example, if I know Py if I know Python, TensorFlow, stuff like that, into bold these things so that if AI is checking, if AI is checking it, they will extract these things. So they will only ch uh, check the keywords inside the CV. So we need to show the keywords which we need to, uh, if the company looking for, you need to bold these things. For example, TensorFlow, if you know TensorFlow, Keras, or like that, you need to bold this. Or if you know uh, Computer Vision, uh, OpenCV, that's one of the libraries which we uh, which we use to uh, process images. If you know that, you need to pro uh, bold it. That is one of the beat that uh, you can clear the first stage. Okay, second stage interview and third stage will be coding, and fourth stage again there will be an interview. These are the these are the pattern which is followed for the internship over here, and yeah. Uh, so main thing is that you need to uh, have these three points in your hand before coming over here. Then it will be fine. Now I'll show you what is my life as an intern or. Uh, working over here in a startup so i'll show you the meetings it will be from the morning eight o'clock it will start and from eight to eight fifteen there will be a stand-up meeting so i don't have a video for that but from twelve o'clock again there will be a meeting and four o'clock there will be one more meeting so i'll show that thanks i don't do this often you call me off guard all of my friends said you move After 12 o'clock meeting, I thought of making something for me. I need to eat something, right? So I bought chicken from Tesco, tomato and onion and chili. As a care light, I can't live without chili. So I need this thing. And uh, in UK, we won't get to like uh, uh, one by four kg of chili. We'll get like a packet. So we need to freeze this thing after using it. So let's make chicken curry and chapati. After washing, we need to 
actually marinate the chicken with chili powder, uh, red chi uh, chili powder, pepper, salt, and my new chicken masala. My friend bought it for me from. So thank you so much, Sajana, for this. And um, so this is from India. We won't get this chili powder from here. And so we need to marinate this and put it in the fridge for enough for now. Turn into songs that you watch me write Stole your sweater on that night You took a picture, I keep by my bedside So you mind when you're gone, baby, please don't be alone I got my ticket to the west side You say my name with your accent Makes me remember how much I missed you to fry this so I'm waiting for that and just keep on doing and fry and wait for wait until it is fried and after frying like when it is like medium fried we need to put tomato and cocktail milk along with that and after that let's put chicken so as well as my chapati is being defrosted so those are students who so basically me. I hate making chapati. So what I do is that I have like ready-made chapati, like three pieces of ready-made chapati. So you can buy this from the store or any other stores which is near to you, Indian stores. And you can store it in your freezer and whenever you need it, you just need to defrost it and eat with an inside. So how the work is done. Right now, I'm signing out. So, thank you for watching my video.